uh, of all lines tangent to the graph of tan inverse of x squared. Find the tangent lines of, or the line of the minimum slope and maximum slope. Let's see if, if we can find any, any uh, I guess here, okay, let's see. Let's see, I'm assuming that I, I will uh, I only have one of these, not both of them, okay. So what we have here is that the um, maximum or minimum, let me just write here, minimum slope of tangent line to y equal to 10 inverse of x squared. What is the slope of the tangent lines? We know that the slope of a tangent line at x is equal to y prime. So we want to find the derivative. What is derivative of tan inverse? Remember that, recall that derivative of tan inverse of u, derivative of tan inverse x is one over one plus x squared. But if you apply the chain rule version or apply the chain rule, you find the chain rule version which is u prime over one plus u squared. So here I have two x over one plus x squared, then another squared. And that is two x over one plus x to the power. Okay, now I have to maximize this thing. What is the domain for, re, uh, for this guy? Well, domain for that is exactly domain of tan inverse. Remember that the domain of tan inverse is the whole real line. So we are dealing with every number from positive, uh, from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay. So the problem now is that find minimum of this guy. This is a new function. I will call it f at x, which is 2x over 1 plus x to the power 4. On where? On negative infinity to plus infinity. Okay, what should I do? I should find f prime x critical point. Uh, this is two times one plus x to the power four minus uh, two x times three x, four uh, x to the power three over one plus x to the power four squared. And this will give me two plus two x four minus uh, eight x uh, to the power four. And then the denominator is this guy. Yeah. Uh, this would give me a uh, two minus six X to the power four and one plus x to the power four squared. Yes. Okay, the numbers are not what I was expecting. So let's see if I can finish this one. So I will set this one equal to zero. And while the numerator is two minus six x to the power four equal to zero, from that, I will get a one minus three x to the power four equal to zero. From that, uh, three x four is one and x four is one over three. And then you find the, the fourth root of that. Uh, this will give me uh, the fourth root of a three plus and minus.
Okay. Um, okay. So I have two critical points, which I don't like it, but uh, let's see what does this give me. For me, I will have, um, I don't have any end points here. This is not closed interval, yes? I have to now make sure that I, I can get all these values uh, correctly put there. So, uh, I tried to work on this example to make it better, but okay. So here, this is absolute max mean. Absolute max mean, usually we have closed interval and we have end points and the, the things inside, the critical points inside. But now I have open interval from negative infinity to plus infinity. What I know that as X goes to plus infinity and X goes to minus infinity, the function goes to zero. So my function, wherever it is, at the end is going to come to something like that. At the end, uh, it will go to zero. But in the middle, you can, uh, yes, you can apply what is called the, the first derivative test or the increasing decreasing uh, function thing. So f prime uh, x, this is negative infinity, negative one over the fourth root of x, then plus one over the fourth root of three, and then plus infinity. We know that at this point, this guy is zero, this guy is zero, and I need to evaluate the f prime. Look at the f prime. f prime is, uh, the denominator is always positive, in the numerator, if I plug in some number in between, like zero there, uh, it will give me positive number. Uh, as X grows to plus, this will be minus, this will be minus. So I can do a little bit more. I can see that this guy will be decreasing since F prime is increasing, uh, F prime is negative. F is decreasing, then increasing, then decreasing. Since both sides are going to be close to zero, what will happen is that the graph of the function is going to be something like that, that, and then like that. And as you can see, although this is not local max mean, but here you see that local max mean will be absolute max mean of the function. And where does that occur? When X is plus one over the fourth root of three, and when X is negative one over the fourth root of three. And that is, where the maximum uh, slope of the function, by the way, you can plug in these guys there at F. So F at negative one over the fourth root of three is the max, uh, is the mean slope. And F at plus one over the fourth root of three is the max slope the function. So this was a little bit not normal case, but using just what we did, uh, we were able to find the maximum slope and minimum slope of the given function.